All right, so I got this old Yamaha 410 here. It's gonna need some pot cleaning done to it here. That main volume knob is really bad. Inside this amp here, we got the mother nest of spiders or some. I don't even know what's going on there. Nasty though, I'm gonna have to sweep that out. Alright, so just a cautionary note here. You're okay touching the preamp board because uh, it's not there's no power going to it. Um, but don't touch any of the power section, um, any of this stuff at all over here. Output transformer, you know the chips uh, for, for the amp, any of this stuff because you got these gigantic capacitors on the back here and they won't enough power to kill you. So you know. We're working with this anyways, we don't need to touch any of this other stuff. So be very careful. Alright, so I'm going to start here, taking all the knobs off. Now how this preamp board is secured is just by these uh, nuts here on the pots. Alright, now you can use a pair of pliers or vice grips or something to get these nuts loose here. Or you can make it really easy and uh, grab a ratchet with 11 millimeter. They're not all going to be 11 millimeter, just this one. Uh, they might, they might be a pretty standard size, so 11 millimeter here. Let's see, they, making this pretty easy to get these loose. Let's see, we're all loose here. Don't want to lose any of these. Sure, I got some more. Alright, so on this amp, this knob on the end has this set screw. I managed to find a little... I got this kit of all these odd fastener or drives and stuff, torques and you know, all that kind of stuff. And thankfully it had a little screwdriver attachment. Uh, what are we doing here? There we go. Look at that. Bingo! All right, now all the nuts are out of the pots here. We'll probably just remove this. And there we go. All right, now for this, I'm gonna be using a can of contact cleaner. You're really gonna wanna get a can of this. This is, is the key to cleaning pots on an amp. Now, this is different from the normal CRC contact cleaner that you see, it's in a blue can. That's that's the usual stuff I use. This is what they had. They had a picture of the CRC at this store, but then they had this. Hopefully it's the same thing. Should work just fine. So we got our straw on this contact cleaner here. Um, this is the real bad pot here. This was the volume one. I feel how scratchy that is. I can get in here in this little opening. Ooh, yeah. Oh man, that's pretty. Get this stuff out of here. This contact cleaner dries really fast, it evaporates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a squirt. Kinda work it around. 
I don't see any other openings. And now in these, yeah, you can want to take whatever openings you can get. So, uh, oh, actually, up around the back here, there is. And that's where it's coming out at. So it might be a good idea on these to get up in there. Especially this one, particular one. It's bad. Look it around. Now contact cleaner is safe to get on electronics. You can pretty much get it on anything. It dries really fast. Yeah, this feels good. That's one, this was the base knob, the one wasn't even bad. Going down the line here. Should be good. All right, so these pots came out perfectly on the seam. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Distortion on this amp. <laughs> pot cleaning on the samples highly successful keep your pots clean guys score some of that contact cleaner and then you'll be good to go